Okay, let's see how that looks on the desktop and how to set the desktop up. So here we are with Swixit 2011 R2. Um, we need to change the skin. We need to go to a skin that's got visual contacts in. And we're going for this one here. And the visual contacts needs to be, obviously I've been testing this, you need to go into these cogs and set up the LDAP server address. Now, I've installed this on this workstation, but wherever you've installed it, Swix server, another machine on the network, whatever, put the IP address in there. And if you've set it up as default, uh, the default connection port is 712. So you do it as we've done it there. And it really is that simple. And if we start generating calls in now, so if we make a call, I can demonstrate this. And you can see it's coming from Smith Inc. And there's the information for the user fields, which I haven't edited at the moment. Uh, so it's a SDECT system and a silver service. Let's try another one. You can see the screen pop comes in and there is user Swix calling. Just hang that up. So the screen pop happens automatically on every inbound and every outbound call. And we also have the option here of manually searching. So if I was to go 666 and search, you can see it comes up with Mark Russell. The name here, text XLS, close that file up, close that field up. Uh, the text XLS is the name I gave it in meta directory. So if we go to the meta directory uh, replicator, it's that name there. Because my search returned a single field or a single record rather, it automatically expanded this to show the other information. If we had multiple entries for this number, then it wouldn't do that. And we can demonstrate that quite easily by going to the spreadsheet. Uh, quite easily by going to the spreadsheet. Okay, that database has now been updated, but the information will not be in SDOS uh, for another replication cycle. We're replicating every five minutes. This cycle has got 50 seconds to run. Um, I'm going to let it, I could force it just by going to start, but I'm going to let it force just to double check that the data isn't in there. If we go to database view, and you can see. So the database has now successfully updated. If we go to database view and refresh that view update, you can see all the data has been copied across. So if we were to replicate that inbound call now with 666 as the details, three, you can see that it's actually highlighted a number of users and we can open up and get more information about those users. So that's Visual Contacts, the very simple version.